On February 14th, 2009, I came into a Naples hospital. My symptoms were cloudy vision, and then it would, the muscles would ache, fatigue. I had motion sickness, which I'd never had in my life. Your skin is it's all scaly, and your whole body is just a mess. And after five days in that Naples hospital, they ran everything that they could on me and said, we have given up. You need to go back to Mayo where all your records are. Doctors were thinking of medication sensitivity. And one of the things that they wanted to find out was that, could it be that she's not metabolizing her medications appropriately? So again, back then, the only test that was offered for this patient was CYP2D6. Everybody basically has their own genetic code. This is why people have different eye color or different hair color. You can also have a difference in response to drugs because of this genetic code. The difference in response you might have, you've seen that some people respond to drugs and some people don't respond to drugs. Also, some people have different side effects to drugs where others don't. Sometimes this can be predicted by genetics. After I was tested, I wrote a letter to all my family and all those in my gene pool. Out of that grouping now, 19 more have been tested and positive for the 2D6. Being a tight family, uh, uh, my oldest sister, Karen, uh, really does a lot of work on this and has brought a lot of stuff to light for our family and our, and our siblings. Their research helped me. I'm still alive, you can see. I'm doing better than I was when I was 50, so I'm, you know, just happy. It works so well, I actually had to be on the lowest dose and then reduced to half a tablet. And, um, Pressure has been phenomenal since. If everybody was tested, my God, you know these drugs will not work for you. Why waste the time and the effort and the money? And the people would feel better. They'd get some results. Twenty-three other people's lives have been affected by this one thing that Mayo has done. And that's just one. I cannot imagine, if you really dug into it, how many would have been affected. What a gift.